Hey guys, this is CK from CK Education, and today I want to share a story with you about one of my students. Um, his name is Nate, and um, he was one of my students from years ago, and I remember very vividly, he was a very, very quiet kid. You know, some of you out there are really quiet, uh, very reserved. He's just a really, really kind soul. You know, he just like, uh, he's so nice, just very, very quiet. He went to a private school around here, and I remember, uh, you know, he'd come to my office. This was when I, uh, when I had students come to my office, and, um, and, and you know, he's always in, he, he's a positive guy, he just didn't talk a lot, but a very positive guy. And, and so he'd come in one day, I noticed that he was sort of down, and I asked him, like, Nate, what's, what's, is, is everything okay? You know, what's wrong? And he started to, he began to tell me that he was getting bullied at school. And whenever I hear that, uh, and I've heard this many times from students over the years, it's a terrible, terrible thing. Nobody should ever get bullied. And what I'm about to say to you guys might be a little bit controversial. If you're a parent watching this, you may not agree with me. But I'm a parent myself, and, and I can... And I'll tell you what I told him. Um, first, I said, look, Nate, um, have you told, did you tell them to stop? And he said, yeah, I told them, you know, I asked them several times to stop. Um, and, but they keep doing it. There's three of them. There's three guys. And then every time he goes out the hallway, they say things about him, racist things and you know, whatever. And um, so, uh, and I said, well, did you tell any teacher? He says, well, it doesn't do any good. You know, telling the teachers, I mean, they talk to him, but they keep doing it. And, and that, that's what I know about bullies. You tell a teacher and the teachers talk to the bully and the bully, you know, bullies you even more. This is very common. And so I told him, I said, look, Nate, um, I'm, I'm going to give you some advice. Uh, if you want this to stop, I think you'll just need to take care of it. And so I said, the next time they do that, you know, make sure there's not a lot of people or like, you know, teachers around. But um, go up to like the biggest guy, the biggest bully, the, the one who thinks he's the toughest and go up to him and, and say in a very serious tone, don't ever say that to me again. Don't talk to me like that again. And you just sort of, you know, don't hit him or anything. But I mean, just sort of like, you know, uh, firmly press his neck up against the wall and tell him if you ever do that again, I'm gonna kick your butt or something like that. Okay. Um, so he 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 was he listened very carefully and I said, Nate, you think you could do that? And he says, Yeah, I could do that. So um, and then we went through class and then I saw him the following week and um, <laughs> so the following week I see him. He comes in, he's very happy, he's in a good mood. And so I thought he took care of it. I said, Hey. Uh, Nate, you know, how was your week? He said, oh, it was great. I said, uh, what, what about those kids? Did you get bullied again? And he says, yeah. I said, oh, you did. Uh, sorry to hear that. Uh, he says, yeah, but I took care of it. I said, oh, okay. Like, did you do the thing I asked you to do? He says, no, I, I just went up to him and I went to the biggest guy in a very serious tone. And I said, when you guys do that, when you guys say that to me, it really hurts my feelings. And, uh, and then they started talking and then they, they said they apologized and then they promised never to do that again. And then it was okay after that. Um, it was quite an embarrassing moment for me because I felt like, who's an adult here, right? So I give him advice, like, I'm like, yeah, you should kick their butt and you should, you know. But then uh, he goes and talks to them. And of course, that's always the first uh, option and you should always do that. I'm not encouraging kids to get in fights. I'm just saying sometimes when talking doesn't work with bullies, you just you just have to, you know, take take other measures. And um, because I think bullying is a very dangerous thing. I've seen kids get devastated by that. Um, so that's, you know, the only reason I would mention something like that. But anyway, um, uh, Nate did very, very well. Um, he, he's, he's such a good kid. And uh, I've seen him a few times, even at, you know after he graduated high school, and uh, uh, such a great guy. And I know his uh, his older brother as well, and uh, he's a good kid. But anyway, let me tell you about his scores. Now, um, they, when he started out, he started out really low, and I think part of it was because of the stress that he was getting in school and so forth, and really didn't have anybody to talk to about that. But um, his math score, he started out about, uh, he started at 400. Terrible score. In writing, uh, reading and writing, he started at 480. So very low scores. So that's like 880. That's not even 900. So that's pretty low. 
Um, he was with me for quite a while. Uh, we were together for 62 classes, and that's 93 hours. And uh, but look at his score. He and he started out 880. In math, he ended up getting a 720, which is a 320 point increase. And in reading, he ended up getting a 660, which is 180 point. Reading and writing. I should say, a 660, which is a 180 point increase for a total of 500, 100 point increase. So he started out with 880, ended up getting a 1380, which is a 500 point increase. Um, that was a fantastic job. I was so happy for him that he did that. I was happier for him that he overcame this bullying incident in his school, in his high school, and he was able to graduate as a happy guy. And so whenever I think of Nate, that's what I think of. And I always wish him well in my mind. But um, anyway, I just wanted to share that story with you. Some of you have gone through it. Maybe you are going through it now, um, uh, uh, getting bullied. Um, it's, it's not to be minimized. Uh, that, that's a terrible, terrible thing. It affects your everyday life. And so you got to talk to the people directly. You got to talk to teachers. And I understand sometimes that doesn't work. And, and um, uh, so sometimes you have to, you know, I'm not advocating violence. I'm just saying in those cases that you just have to be very strict and stern with those guys. You know, back in my day when I was growing up and, and when kids bullied somebody, you know, after school, you see a fight in the, in the schoolyard and that's what happened. I'm just saying sometimes you're going to have to resort to that. Um, it's better than being picked on every day. Uh, you might get beat up. But sometimes you'll be respected for fighting, at least for, for standing up for yourself. And again, I'm not saying you should get in a fight. I'm saying you should stand up for yourself and don't be afraid. Um, but talk to somebody about it. Do talk to someone about it. Don't just keep it to yourself. Um, you know, uh, talk to your parents. And, and, and I've had cases where, uh, in, and I'll, maybe in another video I'll share, but I had one kid, it got really bad and, and his parents basically moved him to a different district. And sometimes that has to be done. But, um, uh, but anyway, I, I, hope do, I hope things do work out um, as, as well as they did for Nate. And uh, I thought I'd just share that story with you. Um, but, you know, as always, if you're interested in becoming one of my students, um, go to ckeducation.org. Best thing is go to my website, uh, fill out the SAT prep application form. And in the comment section there, there um, I'd like you to put why you think you would be a good fit as one of my students. And I promise you that I'll get back to you directly, me, myself, not someone else, not some bot. I will get back to you. Um, I can't take every student, but uh, I will do my very best to accommodate you, uh, especially if I think uh, you'd be a good fit. Um, so anyway, uh, thanks again for watching, um, and I hope you'll uh, watch my other videos as well. And uh, until my next video, um, stay well, and goodbye for now.